Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's update on Winter Storm Elliot. So, Winter Storm Elliot is already starting to bring some snow across the Pacific Northwest to areas of Washington State, Idaho, and northern Montana. And this is going to continue to spread south and east through the overnight tonight. And going into Wednesday morning, we're going to be seeing the band of snow move across the north central Rockies and the northern plains as the uh, powerful Arctic cold front starts to blast through the northern Rockies and northern plains. And going into Thursday morning, uh, we're going to start to see a blizzard materialize across uh, areas of Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa. And then going into Thursday afternoon, we're going to be seeing an intensifying blizzard across uh, Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, even in the southeastern Missouri. And this is going to be impacting Chicago by a Thursday afternoon as well as Milwaukee. And now the model is bringing snow across much of Arkansas uh, Thursday afternoon. And going into uh, the overnight Thursday, the uh, model has uh, trended the snow further south again. So we could be seeing snow in portions of northern Mississippi and uh, all across Tennessee and Kentucky overnight Thursday into Friday morning. On the back side of this powerful, extremely strong low pressure. Uh, and then as we go into Friday afternoon, we're going to be seeing... Oh my god, we're going to be seeing an all-out blizzard across the Great Lakes and even in areas where it's not snowing. We're going to be seeing very dangerously high winds of 40 to 60 miles per hour all across the Great Lakes and Midwest on Friday. So these are going to be very dangerous conditions, whether it's snowing or not during the day Friday, all across the Ohio Valley into the Northeast. Uh, the snow will continue across areas of Michigan, Ohio, and the Pennsylvania <coughs> into Christmas Eve, and then the storm will dissipate as we go into Christmas Day as it leaves the Northeast. Now, taking a look at the snowfall accumulations, uh, looking at the GFS model, uh, we're looking at widespread snow of two to six inches across areas of, uh, of across Missouri, Illinois, uh, Kentucky, and even Tennessee now. And then we, as we go into the Great Lakes area, we are going to be seeing many areas seeing between 6 and 12 inches, with isolated locations seeing up to 2 feet across portions of Michigan, Wisconsin, and then areas of uh, western New York State, Pennsylvania. We're going to be getting getting enhanced lake effect snow from this as well. So areas like Buffalo and Erie, you could be seeing three feet of snow from this. And looking at the European model for snowfall accumulations, uh, we see similar totals across the Midwest, uh, between two and six inches across Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, a little less in Tennessee of about one to four inches. And then across the Rust Belt, uh, anywhere from six to uh, six inches to eighteen inches, with isolated areas of two feet of snow. <coughs> so this is going to be very. Uh, <coughs> uh, significant snowfall totals across the Midwest from uh, Winter Storm Elliot. <coughs> But equally as uh, equally as dangerous are going to be these temperatures. So we're already experiencing very cold temperatures uh, as of <coughs> as of this evening across the northern plains, Montana, Minnesota, and the Dakotas of minus ten to minus twenty degrees. And as we go into a Wednesday morning. <clears throat> We're going to be seeing the main cold blast across the northern plains into uh, Thursday morning, December the 22nd. We're going to be seeing temperatures between minus 20 and minus 40 degrees across much of uh, Wyoming, 
much of uh, Montana and Idaho. This is very dangerous cold. So make sure you are uh, staying indoors if you live in these areas on Thursday, December the 22nd. <clears throat> Meanwhile, across the central and northern plains, we're going to be dealing with uh, sub-zero temperatures by Thursday afternoon across Kansas northward. And then as we go into December the 23rd, the morning, the cold air is going to blast across the south and the Ohio Valley with uh, Texas, uh, central and northern Texas, temperatures in the mid-teens, uh, all across Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama, mid-teens. And then we could be seeing temperatures getting near zero as far south as Amarillo, Oklahoma City, uh, Little Rock maybe into areas of even uh, Tennessee temperatures could be approaching zero degrees by uh, Friday, December the 23rd and going to the 24th, Christmas Eve morning. The cold's going to continue all across the country with sub-zero temperatures in the far northern plains and then teens and 20s across the south, single digits above and below zero across the Midwest on uh, Christmas Eve morning, and even during the day, the highs are going to be <clears throat> uh, uh, the highs are going to be 20 degrees or below across most of the Midwest and Northern Plains where highs could be in the negatives across Minnesota Christmas Eve. And Christmas Day morning, we're going to be seeing much of the same and same with the afternoon, December the 26th. Uh, we're going to start to see the cold subside in the south, but we could see another blast across the northern plains even after Christmas. So this is going to be a very prolonged period of extreme cold. So make sure that you are uh, you are really preparing for a dangerous cold if you live across uh, pretty much the eastern two-thirds of the United States uh, Christmas week. Make sure you limit your outdoor exposure to this because this is very dangerous. You can get frostbite in as little as uh, 5 to 10 minutes with these kind of temperatures, especially across the northern half of the country. <coughs> and looking at the uh, National Weather Service's watches and warnings, uh, we have wind chill warnings all across the Rockies and Northern Plains in these light blue colors. We have wind chill watches across Texas, Oklahoma, eastern New Mexico, northern Arkansas, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia in the uh, in the uh, lighter uh, aqua color. Winter storm watches across the Midwest in the dark blue. Uh, hard freeze warnings across the south in these other dark blue colors. Uh, we have winter storm warnings in the pink colors across the Rockies and across uh, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. And we even have some blizzard warnings across south central Minnesota. Winter storm Elliott is going to be a historic storm, especially with the cold. So make sure that you are very, you are prepared for this because these kind of cold temperatures, they're going to be long lasting and they're going to be dangerous. So uh, stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.